about to experience our first tropical storm, I think. <laughs> We've closed all the windows, we were watching the lightning, and we just heard thunder above us, so... We're prepared! Ah! This is Sunday's first tropical storm. We're, uh... Please don't be... Officially testing our weatherproofing. Right, there's gotta be no holes. If driving the longest road in the world wasn't enough, give yourself 100 days to build a 4x4 motorhome capable of such a task. 40,000 miles crossing every type of terrain imaginable through some of the most feared and remote regions on Earth. Just for something to do? No. For something to write books about. Something to relish in the aliveness of living on the edge of the unknown insanity. Something to radically expand our perspective of what the world is actually like and what is possible within one lifetime. I'm Matthew. And I'm Stacy. And this is Toyota World Runners. We've grown incredibly fond of this waterfall, oasis, playground, dreamscape. And it's making it hard to leave. We've spent time relaxing, enjoying each other's company, getting to know locals. I feel like we're an avatar. And sort of learning how to backflip off a rope swing. We're traveling southeast across Mexico on our way to Argentina. These are the natural crescendos and decrescendos of overland travel. We fall in love with beautiful places only to say goodbye and leave for the next. Speaking of the next, we have found an off-road route that'll take us through beautiful farm country and lead us to perhaps the biggest and most epic view in all of the Huasteca Potosina region. This great waterfall tour isn't over yet. The last time either of us had seen any place so lush and green was when we left home on Vancouver Island. Lord. The difference is we're getting used to our only company being the local cattle and the stunning array of jungle birds, butterflies, and other unfamiliar wildlife.
We're hoping to make camp next to this beautiful river. However, that's going to depend on whether the point on our map actually exists. The heartbeat of the jungle never ceases. Silence is a distant memory, and the cathedrals of tropical trees are a haven of wonders. If that's too poetic, it is simply just dazzling here. Wow. Never have I ever driven in such a stunning jungle. Just look at that. Oh, there's more butterflies down there, of course. If you fellas ever find a woman that's like Stacy and is gonna film videos, drive your crazy truck, do a crazy trip with you across the world, open barbed wire gates in the middle of Mexico, it's a laundry list. But find that woman, hold her tight and never let go. One in a million. Sounds like somebody is playing a synthesizer. It is time that we turn this into fresh salsa. Too much garlic, too much lime, is it just right? Too oniony? What's the verdict? I just got, I was pretty happy with the garlic, for sure. Yeah, those were could, two big garlic. Could use a little more lime, and the tomatoes could be sweeter. Okay, so you hate it. No, it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> we're just harsh critics, okay? We're reviewers. Speak for yourself. <laughs> it's really good. We added one more tomato, one more bundle of cilantro, and three fresh basil, basil leaves. And now, now it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Being here, we're realizing how far we've come. Through our crazy test drive to Denver in the middle of winter, facing challenges, overcoming obstacles, and learning how to live in harmony with each other on the road. It's been challenging, but so worth it. We're grateful. We're really grateful to be here. Look at him just licking the trash. Yeah, we taste good. This must be a sign of good luck, right? About one kilometer from where we camped last night is the Granddaddy waterfall of the Huasteca. Granddaddy. 
Potosina region. <laughs> There's a big blue one. Hi. Oh, bye. This is Tamul, and believe it or not, it's the low season. It cascades 105 meters over the cliff, and in peak rainy season, it spans 300 meters wide. It is the largest waterfall in the Huasteca Potosina region. That may be one of the coolest drone shots I've ever taken. <laughs> Look a little steep, eh? I don't even know how to tackle this one. I like this this railing. It's it's for little people. Oh, missing a stair. Oops. Mm -hmm. I could tell you this was Canada, Iceland, Mongolia, and you'd probably believe me. We didn't know what to expect when coming to Mexico. I can tell you it surely wasn't this. places that's uh, really hard to leave yeah but just uh, not only do I not want to leave I want to live here just set up a little palapa and look at the butterflies and look at the swallows and the butterflies so what do you guys think what was your favorite waterfall of the great waterfall tour <laughs> <laughs> let us know in the comments now we've just got to hike up whatever 100 meters only up from here Almost there. The butterfly is still like the Chinook. <laughs> what the heck? Look out on the side. I hope you can see him on the camera. <laughs> it's hilarious. If you get close to them, you can see that they're actually purple. Check out this sweet. Nissan tour bus. That thing is a unit. Things that wouldn't be legal in Canada. If you're enjoying this video, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. It's free and it really does help us out.
It's like a kid's dance. Like, it was all just a bunch of young teens dancing. It's like a, what, a homecoming. Yeah. <laughs> Driving through these quaint, colorful, and lively villages in remote areas of Mexico make us appreciate a simple life, one that's filled with community, great food, and living in a beautiful area, rich in natural abundance. While they may have less, perhaps they have so much more. It's time for us to gain some elevation and head into the mountains. The village's rugged landscape has helped shield it from industrialization. A majority of the residents still speak the indigenous Huastec language, and many live in traditional dwellings. I'm jumping out of a moving vehicle, babe. Please get that out. The thing is huge. <laughs> Travelers come here to visit La Posas, a garden in the rainforest created by Edward James. Its eccentric castle-like pillars and sculptures surround nearly 80 pools and waterfalls hidden in the jungle. Well, there's nobody here, but we're pretty sure we can camp there. We'll find out soon. Treehouse camping. Uh, this is what happens when Matthew can't wait to find the pool or the shower. <laughs> Just in a random river. It's cold though. It's like <laughs> cool mountain water. Your your Canadian is showing. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, señorita. Yo, tu necesito un muchalada? <laughs> you look so foreign. <laughs> tu necesito un muchalada? <laughs> si, si. Ah, muy bien. Uno momento. <laughs> Dos muchalada? <laughs> Dos? Dos. Ah, excelente. Thank you, sir. Nobody said driving the entire Western Hemisphere would be easy. 
we got kicked out of our camp spot that we were just at. I think because of Mother's Day. I don't really know. I tried to negotiate and he was like, no serviso. And I'm like, I don't need your service. I just need a <laughs> safe place to park. Dude, I'll hold my pee for 12 hours if I have to. And yeah, he, he wasn't having it. He wasn't rude, but he definitely wanted us to leave. So we left and now we are parked on the side of a random street. So yeah. that's cool. You yeah. know, sometimes that's just, you know, what happens. Way when driving over land. Yeah. Not all camping is created equally. <laughs> also, uh, also, this 12 volt fan has oh, been this is... putting in the hours. Mrs. Frizzle, this, this, girl, <laughs> this girl doesn't turn off, man. This is, other than Stacy, this is my new best friend. They compete for the top spot. It's true. I'm <laughs> losing at this point. <laughs> I, this is honestly like a freaking lifesaver. This thing, it, it runs all night. Yeah. It, it, it's on all night. Stay tuned for our gear that makes the difference. some dude eight pesos so you can get your toilet paper which is actually just a napkin and this is the smallest stall I've ever been in actually I can barely I have to like lean way over the toilet just so I can close the door <laughs> uh, I love Mexico Leaving Zlitla, we would gain more elevation as we headed east, deep into the Sierra Gorda mountain range. <laughs> we are truly becoming Mexican, having papaya for breakfast, and uh, we ran out of coffee, so we have instant Nescafe <laughs> now, and we have it with cold water, so it's instant cold brew Nescafe. Nescafe. And the real, the real, uh, the, how you really know that you're becoming Mexican is you start to like it. Yeah, we're honestly enjoying it. It's pretty good. Also, Matthew's oh, dealing yeah. with uh, an ear infection for how much swimming, Too much swimming. you guys saw. Mm -hmm. This is the repercussions of having fun, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's 
so colorful. I love it. The mountain roads here are crazy and remind us of a four-year-old who drew his first snake. Our struggles of the day are about to get solved by this gorgeous Mexican pizza. We got Hawaiian and Mexicana. I'm excited for the Hawaiian. I don't know why. It just feels right to be in Hawaiian. They give you ketchup with your Hawaiian pizza, but it's not ketchup, it's ketchup. Ketchup. And we also give you this, which I... That, that one's spicy. It is really spicy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I can't. It's pretty good pizza. Mmm. Sure. Hola, amigo. Hola. Buenos dias. We're up in this area so that we can experience a sunrise at the highest point in the Sierra Gorda mountain range. Hoping for a clear morning. We camped in the tiny village of Cuatro Palos, which directly translates to four sticks, but really means mountain of the half moon. You see him now? <laughs> That's a big fella. I want him to cock up it all day. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Go, 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 go! Hola. Buenos dias, como estas? Buenos tardes, actually, is what he means. Buenos noches, buenos tardes, <laughs> buenos dias. Esto es todo lo que tengo. Estoy aprendiendo español. Sí. Lo siento. What's that? <laughs> yeah, you don't get enough pets around here, do you? Thank you for being here. I hope by now we've earned your subscription. Join us next time as we travel to the most diverse and chaotic place that either of us have ever seen. You can read about our adventures on Stacy's blog and you can find behind the scenes content on Patreon. <laughs> Are we 
we can't apologize. These hats are flawless. <laughs> Corona Familia. Stadium. Cool. Cool. <laughs> you can definitely feel how high you are. It's like <laughs> no. <laughs>